production to drones in general. We looked at the what drones are, the various types of drones, the hardware and software, and finally the various applications of drones. In the current chapter, we will be learning about the basic principles of drone. This chapter is important as it completely talks about how drones work and what are the things to keep in mind before actually starting to make a drone. The first lesson talks about the basic principles of how drones actually work. Let's look at the details for the same in our today's lecture. Let's start with understanding the basics of how drones actually work. How do they fly in general? Quad copters today are very easy to fly in any direction. They can also hover in place super smoothly. The engineering and design is different to an aeroplane or helicopter for flying. So how does a quadcopter hover or fly in any direction, lift or descend at a moment's touch on the remote controller stick? Drones can also fly autonomously through programmed waveport navigation software and fly in any direction going from point to point. It is the propeller direction along with the drone's motor rotation and speed which makes it flight and maneuverability possible. The quadcopter's flight controller sends information to the motors via their electronic speed control circuits, ESC, information on thrust, RPM, and direction. The flight controller will also combine IMU, gyro, and GPS data before signaling to the quadcopter motors on thrust and rotor speed. While the drone and quadcopter technology of today is all modern, they still use the old principles of aircraft flight, gravity, action, and reaction pairs. In the manufacture of quadcopters, propellers and motor design, the four forces which affect all flight, weight, lift, thrust, and drag are also important considerations. Mathematics is also used to calculate quadcopter motor thrust, while aircraft aerodynamics is used for propeller design and the movement of air above, below, and around the quadcopter. In the current chapter and in the next couple of lectures, your focus will be on understanding the working of the drone and the physics behind it. This will help you a lot when you are designing or flying your own drone. Why is it necessary to know how do drones fly? With a small bit of experience, flying a quadcopter becomes automatic. You move the sticks on the remote controller ground station, which sends the quadcopter in whichever direction you want to fly. We don't need to think about what the motors or propellers are doing. Now, supposing your quadcopter wasn't flying correctly, maybe it's pulling in one direction or not hovering smoothly. Well, understanding how a quadcopter works and flies will help you locate the issue with the motor or propeller especially if a visual inspection does not show a fault. When you understand quadcopter propeller design and motor thrust, you can make changes to your quadcopter, such as removing the camera and installing another payload, such as time of flight or LIDAR sensor. Flying with a different payload will have an effect on the control, light, and balance of the drone. A different payload will then require different quadcopter motor thrust. If you are building your own or designing quadcopters, then understanding motor or propeller design is essential information. You need the correct quadcopter motor configuration, matching propellers, electronic speed control circuits, along with IMU and GPS together with matching the correct body. The next couple of lectures will focus on various terms and components which make up our normal drone and make you aware about the same. When we look at drones or the flight of the drones, one of the things that we are reminded of are the hand propelled fans, as we can see in the figure. These hand propelled fans we use to spin using our hands and push them in the direction where we want them to fly. Let's keep that picture in mind and try to visualize how it is similar to our drones. The hands that we use are similar to the motors of the drones, which spin the propellers. The push that we give with the hand is the thrust force that we give to push the propeller in a particular direction. 
do a very simple exercise try to make a hand propelled fan and see it fly this will help you visualize the forces and the moments that actually act on our drone this we will take in details during the various parts of the chapter some of the basic principles that we need to know in terms of the drone are take off cruise a landing hovering turning stability and gyroscopic effect these principles are very important to understand because they form the basics of operation of any kind of drone in any kind of application any kind of mission these are the basic principles that you require for flying or understanding how a drone flies we will be looking at these principles in much more details in the upcoming lectures to summarize our first lecture in chapter 2 we talked about the flight of the drones in general why is it necessary to understand how the drones fly what are hand propelled fans and what are the various principles that we need to understand about the drones in the next chapter we will start the understanding the various forces and moments that act on the drone thank you very much